Ideas for the present, dreams for the future. Your imagination holds the key. Walt Disney once said, the era we live in is a dream come true. But there are still plenty of avenues to explore. The Disney Channel invites you to join us now and imagine. This is one of the simplest tools in the world. No need for a set of instructions. Everybody knows how to use a hammer. Or how about this? It doesn't take a lot of practice to become a pro with a broom. Well, these tools have been around for a long time. So how would you improve a hammer? Or how would you make a better broom? Or would it even occur to you to try? Well, it did occur to one guy, and he did it. He made a better broom, and a better hammer, and a lot of other implements. And it all has to do with planets, and waves, and a mystery of nature. And here's the mystery. It's an angle. It's a function of the golden proportion. And this angle is exactly 19 degrees. Planets move in orbits of 19 degrees. Further out in space, galaxies spin in curves of 19 degrees. And here on Earth, take a look at what happens to the waves in the ocean. They curl over and break at a curve of 19 degrees. No one knows why all these things happen at the same angle, but they do. What's more, you'll find the same golden proportion on your own body. How is what we're about to find out from inventor John Bennett. He's found his own angle in all of this by redesigning some hand tools in a very unconventional way. It all started two years ago when John was working with an aluminum broom. When his hand started hurting, John realized it would be a whole lot easier to bend the broom handle than it was to bend the wrist. But how much? and at what angle. With his hand open and using the index finger as a guide, John followed the lifeline under the ball of the thumb. The angle formed by the index finger and the lifeline was, surprisingly enough, 19 degrees. John didn't know the significance of his finding then, but he used it to design his first handle. It was designed to fit the human body, so it's an extension of the arm. So instead of having to learn to do something this way, we're doing it this way. Right. My my wrist is bent down where yours is. That's straight. In a much That's more... called ulnar deviation. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. So so if I were hammering, I would just have a much more relaxed time. That's correct. And when you're holding this hammer, you see, if you were to pull up against my hand, you feel how stable this wrist is here. Mm -hmm. But if we move the little finger, just like that. I try it again. Oh yeah. You see the wrist give way? Yeah. It's because this is our foundation finger. The little one's your foundation. This is your hand-eye coordinator. You notice how it extends itself here? Okay, mm -hmm. if you grab this one now, this one now, and grab this one now, that finger does not extend, so I you see. don't have the hand-eye coordination. So this is the more energy-efficient tool. That's right, ergonomically sound. Since his discovery, John has found hundreds of applications for this concept in hand tools. The Bennett Ben, as he calls it, has been used on pliers, rakes, brooms, and hammers. John says that his is the first hammer to come with instructions. It not only gives you more power, but it stops the shock from coming back through. And this is why it's not only good for hammers to stop carpenter's elbow, but any striking force where we get shock back through the body, it allows it to go into the big muscles in the back rather than stay captured in the small muscles in the forearm. Well, you think John's inventions are all work and no play? You'll be happy to know that he's got a handle on the sporting goods business. Tennis rackets, golf clubs, pool cues. He's got a baseball bat that's great for those curve balls. Even Little League has given the Bennett Bend its seal of approval. They feel that this 19-degree bend improves timing and prevents early or late rollover of the wrist. If you stop and think that it's going to increase your stamina, your power, your hand-eye coordination, the flexibility of your joints, uh, as uh, the hockey player plays, he finds that on a face-off, he's got more leverage against his opponent, that he tends to have less problem with that tip of the stick coming up or high sticking. Uh, in his slap shots, I think you'll see that the puck will stay very close to the ice. The applications for this handle are endless. Just about anything you can push, strike, pull, or hang on to.
some amazing feedback is coming from the athletes who are using the equipment. Some athletes even say the handles can actually ease the pain of arthritis or certain sports-related injuries. This tennis player complained to John of a bad tennis elbow that was so serious he couldn't play. He now says that Bennett's new racket allowed him to play with no pain. And John says there are other success stories just like this. And then there is one more thing to consider. If we can function as a natural entity in anything we do uh, without having to conform to some irregular shape, then our potential in that thing that we are doing is greatly enhanced. As a minister said to me when he tried my machete, oh gee, this is going to give my people 30% more productivity. And I said, no, no, that'll give them 30% more leisure time. The Bennett's Bend may be the first new concept in hand tools since the caveman first attached a stick to a rock and called it a hammer. Well, these may look a little odd, but keep an open mind because the market may soon be flooded with tools that are bent on changing the world.